Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can have this iframe fit inside a div container. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so it's gonna be a short video actually. So what I want is, I want this iframe, which is just my YouTube video. <laughs> I just want to fit it in a div container so that we can have flexibility in terms of its size and width. So I will be using Tailwind CSS, a simple HTML project. So CDN over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this iframe inside this div goes over here over here and what I'm going to do is for this one like you will see it has fixed width and height but I want it to be flexible so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say class width full and height full something like this now this would be a weird thing like this now what we are going to do is <clears throat> here I'm going to give it a class of so height should be zero for this one and then there will be a padding top of 56.25 percent now this value is just to keep the aspect ratio of you could say 16 to 19 16 colon 19 so that's why we are giving this and here i'm going to make this absolute i'm going to make it top zero left zero now if we save this you'll see it covers the entire frame now now what I'm going to do is wrap this div inside another div, which will be the main container. So let's take this from here. Let's put it here. And here I'm going to give class relative. If we save this, you'll see, okay, now it fits over there. And here I'm going to give it some width and height. So here I'm going to say width of, let's say 48. And there you go. We have something over here i can increase the width here let's say i make it three by four 75 percent so there you go and i can also then make it in a center like let's say i want to make this exactly in the center so either i could do mx auto like this then it will be in the center and i will give some margin from top let's say seven and let's say i want some rounded corners so i can say rounded lg like large now rounded corner now here you'll notice the rounded corners are not visible for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give here overflow hidden. Overflow hidden. There you go. And there we will have the rounded corner. We just want the iframe just restricted in that div. So that's why we are like putting the overflow hidden so that we will get this rounded corners. Perfect. Now we can play along with this. Like we can provide the shadow, like something like this say shadow of uh shadow md and i can give a shadow for purple just a random color of 500 and you'll see it will have that shadow and everything so we can have more of a flexibility for the iframe so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye